showing me. Yeah. And I'm going to flip it around back to you. And I'm filming. Okay. Okay, so I'm with Dr. Mark Bierman, and we're doing a Facebook Live on Doc Talk Live. Uh, Dr. Bierman is an ophthalmologist, and he was gracious enough, as well as our patient here, to to let us just sort of get in the exam room and 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 see what and see what it's like to be an eye doctor. Exactly. All right, go exactly. ahead, Mark. So I think um, we're going to call you Mary. <laughs> <laughs> I think Mary has a. a a fairly common but very interesting situation. Mary's been followed now and she has cataracts which as we talked about last time um, is a cloudiness in your lens of your eye that you were born with. And she's complaining of decreased vision. Just a sec Mark, I'm sorry. I'm going to switch seats a little bit just so I don't have to. Her, her camera's better than mine. I'm sorry. Go ahead Mark. What would you say your, your vision problem is? Blurry. Just blurry. Just and, but really is one blurry. eye worse than the other? My right eye is. Okay. Mm -hmm. So typically with a cataract, usually one eye may be more advanced than the other. And uh, we like to, if we're going to talk about taking out cataracts, and it should be said that just because you have a cataract, you don't have to take it out. It's not going to kill you unless you drive off the road because you can't see where you're going. But... Um, <laughs> Uh, just because you have a cataract doesn't necessarily mean that that's what's bothering your vision. So when I looked in Mary's eye, not only does she have a cataract, she has the beginnings of some macular issues in the form of macular degeneration. So she's very young. Uh, is the cataract causing macular issues or are those separate? Are those two, two separate, separate things? things? So the macula of the eye, Mary, is all the way straight back to the wallpaper of the eye is the macula. It's part of the retina. Your macula has some distinct changes that I saw when I looked in her eye with this. So now my dilemma is, do I advise Mary to have her cataracts out, or do I think that her visual problems are mostly macular in nature. I see. So you've got to try to ferret out. What What's I don't the... want to do is put Mary through an operation, cataract surgery. We come back to the office the next day and she says, I don't see anybody because we did the wrong thing for her. Mm -hmm. Well, unfortunately, there's no treatment for macular degeneration other at this stage than vitamins. And you don't have a very advanced stage. I'll sh oh, I'm going to screw everything up. No, you'll be fine. If what, you want what do you mean, vitamins? All right, so I know you, you were vitamin, vitamin therapy has been proven in a gigantic study to slow down the progression of macular degeneration once it's begun. So I definitely think you need to be on. Are you already taking vitamins? Okay. What so, vitamins? Um, it's a m mixture, and they've done two or three clinical trials where they've gotten rid of a lot of the original agents. But... It seems that zinc plays a vital role in the metabolism of the cells in the macula. Okay. And lutein is the other that I recommend you're on. I'm looking at your exam. Lisa, oh, Lisa is working too. Um, I don't think... Can you, can you see this, Mary? Yes. All right, so this is your retina from this white tissue here to this white tissue here. And these are different layers of the macula. What's abnormal, this dip is normal. You want to see that. Mm -hmm. See this lump right here? You see this lump right there? That's what I can see in your eye, and that's what is... Use your mouth. Oh, Lisa... So Lisa comes with us just to more or less boss me around. <laughs> Let me know what I'm doing wrong. This is a color picture of her retina. It's very difficult to see, but that spot right there is your macula. 
This is your optic nerve, and these are your blood vessels. Lisa, help me out. Oh, I'll switch with you, Lisa. Um, Go ahead, Lisa. Help them out. I'm doing it left-handed, too, which is putting me at a distinct disadvantage. Let's see which eye we're looking at first. This is her left eye. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, looking at her left eye again, knowing what we know, here's your retina. Mm -hmm. It also has... A little bump there, a little bump there. This depression, however, is the center of your vision. It's the most critical. It's called the fovea. And then let's look at her thickness. Do we have a... Um... Oh, that looks great. This tells me how thick your macula is. Straight ahead, mm -hmm. the most critical part, 250 microns, 245 microns, is normal. It's green. Okay. When you get a little further from the very center of your vision, that's where we see some changes mm -hmm. in both eyes. I think with this information, cataract surgery will help you. Mm -hmm. I don't think your macular degeneration is so advanced that it doesn't make sense to get your cataracts out. Okay. Having said that, if we do cataract surgery, I'd say let's do whichever eye sees the worst mm -hmm. first, number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, you are a little bit nearsighted right. and you have astigmatism. Ideally, if we did cataract surgery, I'd like to eliminate your need for glasses, mm -hmm. at least for far away. Right. So we do that by some of these other tests we've already done, which help us pick an implant. Everybody's eyes are different, and they're different lengths, and they're different shapes. We have a computer that takes all that into account and says, put a 20 diopter lens in Mary's right eye. And if you do that, it's going to see really good without glasses. We're going to do that. However, because you have astigmatism, we have to take that into account. Astigmatism, Brad, is a uh, irregular shape. That's to the my front eye. Of the eye. I have a an astigmatism. Usually in the cornea. So. Do we have a topographer? Oh, we got this. All right. So she has one unit of astigmatism in each eye. If, if you want to, mm -hmm. you have the option to get a lens that corrects astigmatism. It costs extra. Mm -hmm. Medicare says, uh-uh. You're only getting that because you don't want to wear glasses. Mm -hmm. That's cosmetic you know, wear glasses. If you say, I'd like to see my very best without wearing glasses, I would recommend an astigmatism lens implant. If you say, I don't mind wearing glasses. If you say, wow, that's too expensive. Well, I'll be happy to use a standard mm -hmm. implant. We'll get you pretty close. We'll get you better than you are now, I think. Did she get a discount because she agreed to do this? Absolutely. <laughs> we'll give her a discount. <laughs> oh, <look. laughs> Goodman had a great suggestion. Thanks a lot. Um, so if you want to, yeah. And, and how so, much is this going to cost? Well, let me tell you what we do. What's this going to cost us, Mary? We have a package <laughs> of goods. So we have standard cataract surgery with a standard implant. Medicare pays for that. You owe nothing unless you have a copay or a deductible you haven't met. Then we have a package that involves laser cataract surgery. We use a laser to break the lens up. We have an intraoperative device that sits on the microscope and it calculates in real time while you're laying there without a lens in your eye what implant best suits you. And it usually confirms what we've already picked with our computer. And then if it says, oh, Mary has one diopter, one unit of astigmatism, so you need to put one unit of correction in your implant and line it up this way or line it up that way. Mm -hmm. So it helps. If you say it is of utmost importance to me that I don't have to wear glasses 
to drive or watch TV when, when we get done, I'd say get the premium. What's if that going to cost us? Now, I have somebody who's got the price list. But if you say, um, that's not critical to me. If I had to wear glasses, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. And I don't want to spend the extra 1200 1400 whatever it is. Then that's certainly your choice. Is that per and eye or for the whole? It's per eye. Okay. This guy's killing me. <laughs> I'll be out of business by the time. Um, anyway. I'm, I'm happy with whatever you choose, and I do think whichever one you choose, you'll see better. Mm -hmm. um, and we can kind of do some tricks to help eliminate your astigmatism, um, even if we do standard mm -hmm. cataract surgery. So we won't go any further with that uh, on air, but I will let you talk to Lisa and she can answer your questions. Cataract surgery involves m medication in your vein to make you sleepy. Mm -hmm. You don't get put to sleep um, as far as mm -hmm. the tube under you, but you'll be comfortable and you won't care. You might even see Dr. Goodman there, and he can give you a shot in your back if it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You've had one of those before. Yeah, right, I don't sure. recommend can I, it. Can I finish now? Yeah. We're done? We're done. We don't have any more questions? Unless you want to talk to Do you me. have any questions? Do you have any questions, Mary? That's I'm the most thorough I've stop. ever been. You know what? Don't show off. Just keep going. Just um, pretend we're stopped. Okay. But we're really still going. Do you have any questions, Brad? Um, I would just reiterate that the, the macular degeneration, you looked at the back of her eye with this fancy machine, and the, the most and important my, part of her macula looked good. Right. And right. so that's how So that how gives you, me the okay to do, um, to do the procedure and expect improvement. Okay. There is one thing I'll ask you about. Sure. Previously, when we discussed the different packages or yeah. whatever, you had said something about with the fuchs uh -huh. in the eyes that it would be better to do the laser. I think that's true. As, I as think there's enough. some. Um, so what are fukes? Oh gosh! Now I'm you sorry. let the cat out of that. <laughs> <laughs> so Just Mary of. has a third eye problem. It's in her cornea. Isn't that a band? Third eye blind? <laughs> Third eye, yeah. And if you take your finger and poke yourself in the eye, you're hitting your cornea. Right. Okay, so the cornea is supposed to be crystal clear. Mm -hmm. It's the dome of your eye, and yours is crystal clear. However, there's a layer of cells on the inside of the cornea whose job it is to pump water out mm -hmm. continuously. If water fills up in your cornea, it'll be swollen and you won't see clearly. Almost like swimming, you know, for hours. Sometimes you get out of the pool and all of a sudden it takes a little while for your eyes to, to get back to normal because water has swelled your corneas. Um, we measured your corneal thickness. It is not so thick that it won't tolerate regular cataract surgery, I don't think. So, I don't feel like you have to do the laser because of Fuchs corneal okay. dystrophy. So, only the laser if you don't want to wear glasses. Right. But if you like glasses... Or if you want the latest... If, if you yeah. like glasses, then you might as well right. save some money, right? Right. Absolutely. And, then, and we'll give her a discount on glasses as well. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, I think we can do it. Bottom line is, if you do standard cataract surgery, I think you'd do fine. Okay. If you say, oh, I want, you know, a guarantee, because also the other, if you do um, laser cataract surgery mm -hmm. and we're a little bit off in your prescription, mm -hmm. we'll fix it with our own LASIK laser. Mm -hmm. So it gives you some guarantee, more or less, that we're going to get what we want. But, you know, it, it comes down to everybody's personal finances. And uh, I would do, you know, if it didn't cost extra, I would do laser on everybody. I mm -hmm. think it's a little safer. Mm -hmm. I think it's a little more precise, and it lets us treat astigmatism. So next time I do your block mark, I should give you the option of the sharp needles or, exactly. the, dull, or the dull needles. And I think, you Medicare know, will pay for the dull gonna, needles, I'm but if do you want a sharp the, needle, exactly. <laughs> one that doesn't hurt as much. I think... <laughs> I think that's where medicine's going to end up. This is a commercial now for socialization of medicine. 
I think in the next five or six years, what, what we'll come up with is everybody gets health care, mm -hmm. but if you, and, and if you need a stent in your heart, you can have Medicare issued stent, but if you want the latest one that's mm -hmm. coded in this and that, right. you're going to pay for it because the government's not going to be able to afford all the latest and the greatest, and they're going to put the burden back on, uh, on the patients, and we're seeing it first in ophthalmology. You guys always lead the way. Absolutely. Vision first. <laughs> hey, that's that rem that reminds me. So how do we how do we find you? Visionfirst.com. Vision first, no. Uh visionfirst.info, isn't it, Lisa? That's your email address. <laughs> oh. Good point. Uh visionfirst.com. All right. Yeah. Thank you. And I think that's we it. have a website now. It's like doc dash talk we're the best dot live something we're like the that. best at technology <laughs> aren't we we're getting it all right we're gonna all stop right. there thank you so much thank you, I thank you Mary. It. um thank you i'll let you and lisa finish up and we're gonna go talk to carol and find a good day